Hi, Mike here. A client once sent me an Excel file containing 500 names in lower case and wanted to know if there was a simple way to convert them to uppercase. Spoiler alert, there is. And that's one of the things I'll show you in this video. Along with how to convert text to lower case and mixed case, or proper case as it's known in Excel. Proper case being where the first letter of every word in the cell is capitalized. As opposed to capitalizing the first character of the first word in the cell, which I'll also show you. All of these can be achieved using formulas or power query, and I'll show you both methods. So with that, let's make a start. I'll start with converting to uppercase. Here I have a list of names and I need to convert them to uppercase. This was what I was talking about with the PA. They wanted to generate name badges for a conference and they wanted the names to be in uppercase and the names had been sent through from the conference organiser in proper case. To do this, I'm going to use the upper function. So in B1, I'll type equals upper open brackets and specify A1 as the cell that contains the text, close brackets and enter. And as you can see, it simply changes the case of A1 to uppercase. I then need to copy that down, but I don't want to leave it there. I don't want two copies of the names. I want to replace the names in column A with the names in column B. And to do that, I will copy and then go to A1, but I can't just hit paste. I have to click the drop down arrow to the right of the paste button or on Windows, it's just below and select paste values. And what paste values does is it pastes the results of the formula, not the formula itself. And then I can just delete the values in column B. Now let's look at converting to lowercase. In this example, I have a list of file names and the names are written in proper case because that's the company standard. But the files are being moved to a new server and this new server forces all file names to be in lower case. The actual files have already been renamed, but to ensure that our spreadsheet matches the actual file names, I need to convert all the values in column A to lower case. Actually, I need to do more than that. I need to create a full lowercase URL by combining E1, E2, and the file name into a single string. So I'll go to B2 and put equals E1. That is the cell with the base URL in. And I need to make that absolute with the dollar signs so that when I copy it down, it keeps a reference to that cell. Then the ampersand or and sign, because I'm joining blocks of text together into a single string and then specify E2, which is the folder. And that also needs to be made absolute. And then another ampersand. And then I need to use the lower function and specify A2. So I'm joining together what's in E1, what's in E2, and what's in A2. And when I copy the formula down, it will keep the reference to E1 and E2. So that's upper and lower. As I said earlier, proper means the first letter of every word is capitalized. So here I need to display the first name and surname in proper case. I'll go to B1 and type equals and use the proper function and specify A1 and then copy that down. And you can see that what I've got in column B is the first name and surname with the first letter capitalized. And then I can copy that and paste values to replace what's in column A with what's in column B and delete column B. Let's get adventurous. I want to capitalize only the first letter of the entire string rather than the first letter of each word. So the formula that I've used here, you can see at the bottom of the screen. What does it do? Well, the first bit left A2 comma one 
that extracts the first letter of the text in A2. Upper left A21 converts the first letter to uppercase. The mid function extracts the rest of the text starting from the second character. And the lower function that is wrapped around the mid function converts the rest of that text to lowercase. And finally, the ampersand operator concatenates or joins together the uppercase first letter and the lowercase rest of text. So using Excel's functions is one way to do it. Another way is to use Power Query. I'm using Excel on the Mac here. Either way, I need to take data from a table or range of cells on this file and manipulate it. On Windows, you simply click on Data and then From Table or Range, and it takes you to the Power Query Query Editor. On the Mac, there's a few more steps to get to the Query Editor. Click on Data and click on Get Data. Then click on Excel Workbook because that's where the data is coming from. Click on Browse. And I need to select the file that I'm actually in and click Get Data. Then click Next. And it lists all the worksheets in this file. Select in this example the Power Query sheet and click Transform Data. Another option you have if you don't want to go through all of those steps is to use Suat Osgore's awesome free More Query add in which gives you this extra menu option and mimics the Windows version of Excel. I'll put a link in the description to the add-in. However you do it, once you're in the query editor, converting text to uppercase, lowercase or proper case is quite straightforward. And it's the same commands on Windows and Mac. I'll just maximize the query editor. Before I do the conversion, you'll notice that Power Query doesn't recognize file name as a column heading. So what I need to do there is click the current heading, column one, and go to transform, use first row as headers. And now what was on the first row of data is being treated as a header. Whether you need to do that step depends on your data. To convert the case of the text, select the column by just clicking the heading, go to Transform, click on Format, and there you have lowercase, uppercase, and capitalize each word, which is proper case. I won't demo those as they're straightforward. What I will demo is how to convert the text so that only the first letter of the word of the entire entry is capitalized. Now it's a little bit more long winded this one. You don't have that option on the format menu. So you select the column just by clicking the heading and then click transform split column by delimiter. A delimiter is a character or a string of characters. And in this case, the separator is a space because there's a space between each word and click OK. Once I've done that, I need to select all the columns except the first column. So I click on the heading of the second column. That's the first column I want selected. Hold down the shift key and keeping it held down, click on the last column heading. With those selected, I want to convert everything in the selected columns to lowercase, which I do with the action I just showed you. Transform, format, lowercase. Then I need to select all the columns, including the first one, and basically merge them back together. So click on the first column heading, shift and click on the last column heading, and then click transform, merge columns. The separator will be a space. If I don't specify that, then it will just merge the whole string together with no spaces and the new column name is going to be file name and click OK. Once I've done that, I need to come out of the query editor by clicking on Home, Close and Load. 
And what it now does is it generates a new tab, a new sheet in this file. And if I just zoom in a little bit, you can see that what we now have is what we want, which is all of the file names where the first letter only is capitalized. And that's it. Different ways to change the case of text entries in Excel. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. You can also keep up with what I'm up to by signing up to my newsletter. And you can do that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, have an excellent day. Thank you.